Hello gamers of the New Airport, welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved Extra Mode. So after restarting my client, I loaded up my ender quarries again because they uh, cease to run while I am one. I restart my single player. I don't know why, but ender quarries do not self trunk load initially when you restart as a uh, single player, so you have to go reload them every single time. Um, so anyways... What I'm going to show you guys today is uh, we are at 1.3 million end stone. I've disabled the end ender quarry in the end uh, because we now have 1,700 draconium ore. Uh, I probably still need more. I don't actually know how much I need, but we're going to process all of this. So I'm going to obviously get it all out. And then builders want it. Uh, this is insane amounts. Like, if you guys know... This is way more than I could have gotten from from doing it with the, just the normal ender quarry. So the end, the entire island is is dirt now and, and grass. So it's really cool and uh, amazing. So now uh, the plan is to obviously turn it all into draconium dust, put all that uh, into ingots, then try to start making the stuff for the Draconic Flux Capacitors. And just for an example, uh, Draconic Flux Capacitors take a lot of stuff, by the way. For example, it takes a stack of, of Bedrockium ingots. And uh, let's just say, you know how I was looking at recipes of an octuple compressed cobblestone to make the a block of Bedrockium? Actually, they, they disabled it in the back. And uh, anything past Quintuple or past quadruple, sorry, is uh, disabled. So even quintuple is disabled, and it's kind of interesting. I don't know why they would do that, but they did. So unfortunately, the only way to get bedrockium is through mox nuclear fuel being smelted, and the only way to get mox nuclear fuel is, uh, is plutonium. So I basically realized that I need to make about, well, a lot more... Um, nuclear reactors so basically I'm going to make uh, I'm gonna auto craft the heat vents and and uh, nuclear reactor stuff and I'll just make a bunch and have them all automatically ran and basically I'll start setting up automatic ways to process my uranium into um, the stuff I need so it'll auto crush it then that crushed will go to purified and that purified will go into my centrifuge something like that either i think what i'm going to do is have it auto output from the uh crusher into an ender chest and then from the and en that ender chest go to the wa ore washing plant and then from the ore washing it'll go to the next thing so let's throw all this away all right now we'll continue to mine it's a lot of draconium so much draconium. That was two inventories worth of draconium, and there's still more to go. It's really good. Uh, and so, yeah, I can auto craft probably the nuclear reactors set up more than I have. I already have something like 250 plutonium, so I have a good amount. I just, I would like to process it faster since it's now becoming a problem. Uh, so that's what I'm going to end up doing since there's no other way to get bedrockium. And I did the math, the amount that I need for the uh, entire... I have enough for the for this creative energy cell. Maybe I won't actually do it yet. Maybe I'll wait. Because I can just do uh, plutonium after. Instead of, instead of iridium, I can do plutonium. Uh, so the amount that I need in the end is like six or seven hundred... No, I think it's like 1,100 plutonium I need or something for all the bedrockium, for all the drums, for the for the creative energy tank, or uh, creative portable tank. We're still pretty fucking high up. This is so much draconium. Like, I don't think I've mined this much draconium in my life. Yeah, uh, I also made a sheet of all the stuff I'm going to need. So I'm also going to need a lot of Terra Steel. Um, I'm going to need a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of things I already have, but the ones that stood out to me was the Bidrockium Ingots and the Terra Steel. So I think I need a stack of Terra Steel. So I guess I have to start making a bunch. What the hell? I'm like, oh... The freaking backup.
so much draconium and this is still the best way to process the the draconium the fact that sometimes you can get seven is a little crazy and we're good all right let's go check on my draconium and see how much i have also when my ender cores are turned off you should see the speed at which this mf or the uh, mass fabricator makes you you matter it's literally like a, a second per you you matter and uh we had like 40 iridium again in the in there so let's look at it oh we have 17,000. okay so we have a lot of draconium uh then i need to do some math on some things so uh for example the draconic cores i need a thousand eighty eight so i just want to set this up draconic uh, let's make the recipe for I'm gonna guess they are on the first page okay I can't seem to find them so I'll just do it this way oh I need more patterns wait I have patterns but they're not in the okay uh, so let's get that and we'll make a thousand eighty eight of them So that's just for the Wyvern cores that I'll need, and the Awakened cores. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I basically needed 256 Wyvern cores, plus another, like, 50-something for another section, and then another 768 of the Draconic cores. It's, it's a little crazy. I don't know. Anyways, we're already at 800 of those. <clears throat> uh, so I, I should have a ton of flexed electrum now. I should have enough for what I need. I made some as well during my little break. Um, okay, so we have all the draconic cores. Then I need... So I now also need to set up a bunch of Ender Dragon kills. So I guess we take the Resurrection Stones, the oh, uh, Charge Draconium. I guess I should charge more Draconium. So I should make some Draconium blocks, which means I should make some wyth Wyvern cores. Um, pretty sure I should just make a stack. So I need 64 or something. Yeah, I need 60, 64. No, I need 256 or something. Yeah. We'll just make two stacks. Uh, then I need to make draconium blocks. Which I never did the math on that, actually, for the actual, like, thing. But how much... So, wait, I have seven... So to make this 24, I need another 7. Uh, so that'll get me 6 Ender Dragon kills. And I might... Uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, then I need Quartz Pillars. I need Diamond Blocks. So let's get... Uh, 30. Uh, what else did I need? The charged draconium blocks and glowstone. That seems about right. So I just need my bow. I go there. I fight the ender dragon. We're good. We get six kills. We get six hearts. And we come back and... Alright, so let me charge this shit. So I guess I put it in this one. We let that charge. <laughs> I might as well make another 24 actually. Because I'll need to, to turn these into awakened draconium blocks after. Uh, and I'll have 28 blocks and I need... 
64 awakened ingots, then another 64 for the, for the, uh, for the wyvern flux capacitor, I think. No, 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 for the draconic energy, energy cores, I needed them, yeah. Yeah, it's 48, uh, 64 awakened ingots, and then a shit ton of, uh, Yeah, it's it's crazy. The numbers are crazy of what I need. All right, let's uh let's go put those in. We already had two charged. Okay. These numbers are pretty good, I guess. <clears throat> let's charge my jetpack. I think I also get um, Draconium from killing him, so that's interesting. But yeah, we're just going to get all the Awaken that I can right now. Uh, then I guess I should also get all the, the depleted Uranium Fuel Rods that I can. I should have enough Plutonium to do what I want to do, and I guess I'll decide after if I should make more, more reactors. Because technically, there's still a lot of stuff I need to do before I need the large amount of Draconium. So then I process these three stacks in here. Okay. Then we check my Plutonium. Twenty-five. So we have 163. Not a bad. Change up my armor. All right, that's still good. This is still good. Wonder. I wonder. Iridium. Wait, what? Did I try to just make eleven quantum solar panels, or was that for one? What? It takes 630 for one? Holy shit, I need a lot of iridium. Maybe at one point I'll, I'll turn off my endercores during a night and just farm iridium. Again, because clearly I need a lot more. Let's see how much I have over here. 20... Wait, what is this at? 29? Okay. It's only going down by 5,000. And it's charging this at like 50,000 a second. Holy shit. That's so fast. And that's just draining the batteries, probably. No, what? It's not even touching them. That's how much power I'm actually creating. This is insane. Oh, yeah, this one's going down. But that's how much power storage I have. Clearly, a lot. Uh, that means I have... If each one of these is 40 million EUs, it's 160 million RFs. And I have 16 of them. So I'm into the, like, billions of power storage, right? With just MFSUs. <laughs> And it gets instantly converted, and yeah, it's a lot. Obviously, once I get my creative energy cell, which I'm extremely close to, uh, yeah, we won't have to worry even more. I'm honestly so damn close to it. We're at eight, seven quantum solar panels. Um, and then the last thing is creative energy cell. We need two more, and these flux capacitors which honestly are very doable. It's just the bedrockium, which I can make, uh, and the terra steel, which I can make. It's just very annoying to make. And a shit ton of redstone, which is not a big deal. 
Maybe I should go put that in right now, actually. Put, like, the, the tank and put a few blocks of uh, redstone in. It's this one. Okay. I think I need a few more. There we go. Let's turn it off here, turn it on there, and... There we go. Look at how fast that goes up. So at this spot we're charging up by uh, uh, 50,000 um, a second or tick or whatever. And now it's... Uh, and the other one's 40,000, so this one is faster. So we'll be able to do our Ender Dragon fights. I should go get the tablet. The Ender Dragon tablet thingy. Uh huh. Uh, let's find Ritual of Dragon thingy. Okay. Good. So we'll be doing, yeah, 12 Ender Dragon fights. I mean, six Ender Dragon fights. Getting six Dragon Hearts should be pretty good. We'll see how this goes. I should just be able to three shot it. Maybe I should do multiple at the same time. I don't know if it'll bug out. Actually, I shouldn't do it. I should just do one at a time. Oh, then I also need to do... Well, I want to get this whole creative energy cell thing. Then I want to do the Gaia fights over and over again. So I just need a lot of Terra Steel as well. So uh, it actually mined out the obsidian that was here probably. Yeah, in that section. So I need to take this obsidian. So we're going to go back to this spot, we'll change it back. So it's like this. Then the resurrection stone, glowstone, two spots away. One spot away, one spot away. Uh, then it's too high on the corners. Charge draconium block. Diamond. And then we get ready for the greatest battle of them all. Uh, let me just turn my sound on. Rip, no sound. Well, this should be super easy like last time. Just get some free dragon hearts and uh, that'll be great. Oh yeah, this is also the end, by the way. After I've redone it with um with you know the Ender Quarry changes that I made to the end. So you can see everything's like grass and it looks like the plains biome, yet it's the end. Also some of the pillars are dirt. Yeah. Pretty weird. But yeah, I mined out the entire thing. It was one point three million endstone 
as the main island. And you can see my minimap still bugged out. It shows it being, um... So I think I crit him. Alright, that's the fight. And you can see the explosion at the center is pretty massive. Um, rip my dirt. Uh, the, the obsidian stays though, which is kind of surprising. Happened last time. Uh, so we'll put the glowstone back. We'll put the resurrection stone. I'll go get the dragon heart. Oh, it's still not done. Hurry the fuck up. Done. Alright. So then... Uh, two blocks away. Pillar. I think I need some dirt. To rebuild. I don't remember it being this bad. I think it's because it uh it was dirt this time. Last time it was endstone. Uh was the corners the two? Yeah. I believe I have to rebuild this every time. Sort of annoying. Oh, I wonder if there's just a way to automate this boss. I don't think there is, though. Since you have to replace all this shit every time. Uh, okay, these on the corners. Pretty easy fight, though. I literally don't take any damage. Alright. Prepare for the long wait for the next one to respawn. We got five miniature yellow hearts from that. Not sure why that is. Can't wait till I have a creative energy cell and how fast I can make plutonium and shit and uh, and iridium with the mass fabricator. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> this takes too long. Let's grab some obsidian while I wait. I'm gonna rebuild it with obsidian next time. So I don't have to rebuild it all again and again. The green particles, all the lightning. It's a lot of lightning. I feel like there's more lightning this time. I took more shots. Okay, let's rebuild with uh, obsidian this time. Since it doesn't seem to blow up obsidian. It just makes the most sense to build this out of obsidian now. Since if I'm going to have to keep rebuilding it anyways, I just build it once and then I'm done. Alright, there's my summoning altar thingy. How's that heart doing? 
Alright, still going. Uh, there's all this XP on the ground. Grab all that, I guess. I don't know. It's not that important. Since I have like 2,000 levels at the base. There we go. Second Dragonheart. Yep. So I want to throw them into the Emmy already. Throw all this extra stuff away. Okay. Let's rebuild. So I think I've got it now. I think I figured it out. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. The floor is actually here. So I have to build it up one more. I think we're good now. Let's just fix this up. Uh, so it's not this spot, but the other one. There we go. So that's where I place everything. We fixed it. So this is where the glowstone goes. That's the floor. Then the quartz pillars. Resurrection stone. Glow diamonds and draconic blocks. By the way, it doesn't need to be made like this 100%. It can be a little, it doesn't have to be symmetrical, but it just looks better this way, if you were wondering. There we go. And this time the, uh, the actual obsidian should stay. I hope. Uh, so I actually didn't, I, I didn't check how much I need, but if I'm getting 28 draconium blocks... Uh, obviously that's 28 times 9 of Awakened Draconium. I wonder if that's enough for now. Obviously in the grand scheme, I don't think it's enough. But for now, 252 Draconium, that seems like enough. That's what, like, 4 stacks? Well, 256 is 4 stacks, so it's just off of 4 stacks. I think it's enough for what I need right now. Like, one of these, I don't even think, takes that much. Oh, it does take a block. Did I take that into account when I was saying the Awakened Draconium thing? No, I don't think I did. Alright, get ready. That was quick. That is so loud. I don't think I have enough quartz to do the last ones. I might. We'll see. I don't think I do, though. I had, like, a stack of quartz, too. Get the next one started and grab all my draconium. Let's stand up, or fly up here. Wait for my heart. It's funny that I've gotten, like, another three stacks of of draconium back from this. Okay. Yeah, so I, I have enough for one more. Uh, because of the quartz pillars. I actually could read the tablet right now. It'll tell me how much I needed. Twelve. Yeah, I only have sixteen, so one more. Unless I somehow tear out, like, eight of the, the fuck of the quartz while it's flying up into the air. I don't see how that's possible, though. Could you imagine a bug where you could ender quarry out this while it's blowing while well, while it's spawning? I 
I think you technically could. Or like a normal quarry, since it would touch the top first. It would take the charged draconium blocks first. Literally two shot it while it was still spawning. That was awesome. Let's go again. Boom. Fly. Two courts, one courts, two courts, one courts, two courts. One courts, two courts. I like the look of charged draconium blocks. They just look so good. Let's get my dragon heart. Wait, did I do can I actually just right click it out of the air? I didn't know you could do that. Okay, anyways, let's stand a little bit back again. We'll do my last fight, and then we'll go back. I think the, the ender dragon, or the dragon eggs are, are stacking. wonder how high we could get that. Endermen are fucking OP. Imagine having that ability of teleporting whenever you get shot by something. That would be annoying, actually. I guess I just came at the right time when it was going to fall. Because you definitely can't click it out of the air. XP for goddamn days. I might just make all the Terra Steel uh off video just because of how tedious it's gonna be i'm literally gonna be putting coal or the coal yeah the coal into the endo flames and just waiting for mana and then making terra steel so i might not do all that uh on cam because it, it'd be annoying it'd be honestly a little tedious I also still need to figure out what I need to do for all that iridium, I guess. Yeah, I leave off my ender quarries for like a night and and see how much uh, iridium I get. Because it runs at a really crazy speed when they're off. So we had one more, but not enough pillars for it. Uh, now I need to use all this uh, dragon hearts. So the way you do that is um, you get TNT. You get a lever, you get draconic cores, uh, you actually need more, there we go, and uh, charge draconium blocks, so there's four, you need a few more. That's not enough either. Holy shit, I was actually taking like serious damage. 
It was like because my hearts were bugged out because of the end. Wither three. Hmm. Well, anyways, we'll let those four charge while I go set up these dragon hearts over here. Um, so the first one, we'll get ready. So it's a TNT lever. Dragon heart on the ground, and then have this ready to be placed, and we need to use a normal pick. Okay, so hang them out off, throw this, click it. Wait, what? Why didn't it work? There we go. Guess I need another TNT. There we go. Four awakened Dragonian blocks. Now we have eight. Uh, let's do another one. So let's split this. There we go. TNT, Dragonheart, Lever, Boom. Charge Draconian blocks have a harvest level of cobalt, whereas the ore is a, is a mining level of obsidian. Oh, that actually did damage. Alright. TNT. Lever. Dragonheart. Stand back. I need to get another uh, TNT. Now. Okay, so two of them broke. All right, so I guess it doesn't always work. I'm not sure what the circumstances are for it not working, but clearly didn't work. Charge three more, and we'll be good. Let's get TNT. We'll grab a few. I don't want to ha uh, have it not work again. We also seem to lose the levers, so good I made a or brought a few. Uh, all right, I think I figured out why it bugs out. So if the levers on that side, I should have the dragon heart on the other side, and then it'll work. Don't know why that's a thing, but I think that's what it was. Yeah, if uh, if you place the dragon heart where the where the lever is, it seems to bug out because it's like inside a block and it doesn't let it work. Interesting, because yeah, the times I've done it where it doesn't work, it's because I placed the dragon heart on the lever. So a redstone block would always work, basically. There we go. Oh yeah, I also have 123 levels. Not bad. Uh, and how's this doing? One. 
So I have like a lot of draconium now. 16. I'm actually going to start auto crafting some stuff, so um, basically I need 16 wyvern flux capacitors, so we're going to set up the auto crafting for this, uh, which obviously, if I need 16 of these, then I said I needed uh, 16, si I, I needed 64 wyvern energy cores, which means I need to make... 64 of the wyvern uh, cores and turn those into things so we'll take out a stack and we'll take that redstone that I was already planning so we'll go do that I need a crescent hammer so that's good uh, I think I still have the hoppers yeah so we'll split half uh, oh wait let me take that out take that out Change this to, uh, to the casting table. Uh, so we put half and half. Translocators. Boom, boom. None of this will work, so I think I can just have it pouring. Uh, then we throw on the redstone. Where I just dump all of it, and we'll see what happens. Obviously, pull redstone to the bottom, and we're good. So we'll have all thirty-two, or uh, all of the stack of that run through that. The extra redstone will obviously be left over. It'll be good. I'm gonna put that right here. So, uh, Dragonheart TNT. Put the lever on the other side. Pro strats. Throw the draconic cores, and then these. There. So pretty much, once I make these wyvern energy cores, I'll have enough to make the sixteen wyvern flux capacitors uh, for the thing, which is really good. So we'll have one big section of the complete draconic core, or whatever, awakened core. Flux capacitor, whatever it is. How many have I made? Eight. Alright, good enough, Kappa. So let's now work on the next thing. So that was the first thing. The stack of that, to make the stack of... Then we need the wyvern, or then it's draconium ingots, so let's just look up the flux capacitor again. Uh, then it's draconium ingots and the wyvern core, so we're good on all of that. It's another, it's 16 wyvern cores, so I think I have enough. Yeah. Uh, which was already part of the next thing. So then, I need the stack of flux electrum. Or no, 80 flexed electrum, which I have 325. We need vibrant, I have mana steel, I have thomium, I have nether stars, yeah. And then we need the 1088 draconic cores. Oh wait, I need 272 of each one. Do I have enough thomium? Yeah. Um, then I need a stack of void metal. So I guess I should get, basically, I should get a stack of the void metal. So it's every two iron is one, so like that. That should make me the stack. Uh, we'll do this. Let's go. So every two iron should get me one void metal, basically. Okay, so two iron, one void. If I've thrown 12, I could get 6. There. Right? 
14 zone. Yeah. Sixteen, so eight of these. All right, that's pretty good. How many is that? Twenty. Okay. Almost there. One, two, what? Huh? Oh, I didn't let it boil. Rip. All right, we'll do 18 more. Let me just actually organize this this time instead of just be doing random shit. So, uh, let it. Oh, I'm gonna say that I need to empty that out. I I messed up because I didn't realize if you throw an uneven amount, it would mess up and all that shit, all that jazz. Uh, cobble. Let's get some cobble to empty out the leftover or to remove the leftover after I like remove it from the thing okay I don't want taint so you know alrighty it's good let's go get that bucket Bucket of water. One, two. Oops. Let it boil. One, two. This. 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 There we go. And we're done. All right, so how much void metal do we have? 79, nice, fixed. Okay, uh, what else did I need a lot of? Uh, radium ingots, yeah, got them. Void metal, bedrockium, uh, how much do I have? I have 16, so I need to make more, I need to make mox nuclear fuel. Um, I need to make basically make 48 mox nuclear fuel and then cook it. So that takes 144 of my plutonium. So we'll take that out. Oh god, it's so heavy. Um, I can't redstone furnace it. I have to alloy smelt it. Forgot. I think it's this to get bedrockium. Uh, so then we'll have the bedrockium. All we're missing is the terra steel. Uh, I need 256 wyvern cores. So I need my extra amount to be 256 wyvern cores, basically. We need 48. Uh, so we'll have the wyvern flux capacitors, the awakened core, three draconic energy cores, 48 of those we need. And Mm hmm. 64 awakened ingots, so that's okay. Okay. So we need. <laughs> Is it auto craftable? Okay. So I think I should auto craft this and make 220.
that's how much stuff I'm using, that's how much draconium, that's how many nether stars, diamonds, etc. It's gonna craft more draconic cores, which is insane. Uh, we still have another 4,500 of the dust. Okay. Uh, wyvern. Almost done. Then I need to look at... Uh, so I need those to be done. Let me change out my armor again. I hate not wearing wyvern now. That's, you're so slow. Uh, so this should all be done, all 64, so we can make the 16 Wyvern Flux Capacitors. They don't stack, of course they don't. Super easy, so we have all 16 of those now. That one got some charge, damn it. Okay, uh... Oh, uh, let's get the Draconic Flux Capacitor. We need 16, so we have the center, we have the Awakened Draconium. Then I need... Uh, it's a stack of the wake Awakened Cores. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> I need to fight the Ender Dragon 16 times. At least. It's like 20 Ender Dragon kills. I need a stack of this. I need a stack of charged draconium blocks. Basically. Like, 100%. Diamond. Need the same amount of diamond blocks. So I'll take another 54. Quartz. Pillars. So we'll have to craft a bunch. Holy shit. I didn't realize there was that many Ender Dragon kills just for the Flux Capacitors for one creative energy cell. Okay. I guess I need, I don't know, four stacks, five stacks, something like that. I might as well take extra. There's no reason not to. Okay, we have seven. Uh, then I need glowstone, same amount. Uh, I also need resurrection stones, so I would need 16, which I have 15 already, so. Uh, fuck, I need more draconic co uh, blocks, draconian blocks. I need f 15. One here, 14 for the recipe of this. Uh, it only used cows, right? It didn't use my damn silverfish. God damn it, it used the sil Oh, hellfish, hellfish. It didn't use it. Okay, good. So that's all the stuff to do. 16. I believe. Which gets me a stack of awakened draconium blocks. And then I have another 216, which is the stack of awakened draconium that I need. So yeah, I just need to fight it another 16 times. Which isn't terrible uh, but then I also need another stack of awakened draconium or charged draconium blocks for the um, charged draconium blocks for the uh, for actually making the awakened draconium So I definitely need more wyvern cores, but for now, more draconium blocks. We'll just make another stack, because I need to. So basically I need to charge two stacks of, of draconium blocks, which is insane. That's uh, 640 million, no, 6.4, 6 no, 6 64 billion each. I guess so, it's still going here, so that's that's cool. Uh, 
Uh huh. Uh, we'll get a stack of nether stars to replace that. I'm gonna get one of those red hearts. You wanna eat a red heart? To start my regen. And fix my freaking health. I guess while I wait for these charged draconian blocks, I'm going to, uh. I'm going to begin, uh, doing the Terra Steel. And I'll come back when everything's ready. So then I'll just have to fight 20 more Withers and. I mean, uh, Ender Dragons, and then, yeah. Is this filter good? No. There we go. Stack of Nether Stars. It should be able to charge 64 blocks, which won't, that won't charge all of them. So I'll have to add another stack of Nether Stars. We'll get ready for that. And then at the same time, we'll be making more Terra Steel. Yay! Anyways, take care, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.